Hello everybody, welcome to what uh, should promise to be a good game between Andy Devo and his Orcs versus Noxa and his Lizardmen. Um, Devo has gone for Orcs, which I think is a bad decision because I think if you're going to go Orcs, you could have just gone Lizardmen, basically. I feel like Lizardmen are just better than Orcs and I uh, never ever struggle with Lizards versus Orcs. It's almost like a free win. So um, <laughs> it'll be interesting to see if Andy Devo can really outplay Noxa to the level that he has a chance, or maybe if he just dices him to death. Let's, let's see what happens. <laughs> but um, <laughs> yeah, so he's gone. He's got a like an interesting build, right? He's gone two guard blitzers, a frenzy blitzer, and then uh, two guard biggins and a block biggin. So an interesting smattering of skills, and obviously like the frenzy meme for Devo because that's his thing. That apparently he's the only person in the world who can surf anybody. He certainly can just randomly KO somebody there on the block. But honestly, yeah, the frenzy is pretty decent. Uh, it was something that I considered many a time in tabletop. Um, you know, because obviously versus some people, tackle is useless, right? If you, if you take tackle, it's completely useless. For example, versus dwarves and versus orcs. So, so if you take tackle, it's completely useless in X amount of the games. And then if you take Mighty Blow, uh, it's a bit rubbish, isn't it? You know, it's like it's only, it, it is doubling your chances of removal, but it's not impacting the board in any way apart from removals. Whereas with Frenzy, it gives you like a surfing threat and it can, it can give you more blocks to act like a pseudo Mighty Blow and it can give you more um, knockdowns acting like a pseudo tackle. So it, it does kind of do some of the job of both of them. So I don't really hate the Frenzy. Um, of course, the problem is frenzy trapping yourself versus stuff like lizards which is already a hard match but you know you know probably just guard would have been better but it's not bad to take the frenzy anyway not like i think it is on lizard men where it, you have to give up a block to take it and uh we've got an instant blitz on a skink here dave all subscribing to the reddit theory of blitz the skinks and uh no oh, dub score with your troll as well well, here we go. Oh, this is interesting, isn't it? Is, th is this interesting? Is there anything here that Noxa can do? Blitz this guy. And that pushes... So you've got a fill here. Blitz him. That pushes the uh, Crocs to here, right? And then you can block him and get him to there or there. So it's not actually that good. You'd need a third hit from here and fill in all these squares, which you just can't do. So if you could run around like a million skinks and fill in these like three squares or whatever, which you kind of almost could, right? But it's just so many dice. You could almost chain the uh, crocs onto the ball, but uh, it's so ludicrous it's not worth doing. I think it's worth... Uh, I think it's worth... Chaining the crocs onto the uh, guarder, honestly, and basing the ball with the crocs. Better than basing the ball from behind with a saurus. Much better getting the uh, crocs on. I guess dangerous, right? Because you could you could roll a one with the crocs, or a one in nine versus block. Which, coincidentally, if he chained him onto the. Uh, if you chained him onto the Black Oak, at least he would have taken the Black Oak down with him. <laughs> he blitzes there. Interesting. Gets his frenzy hit. Oh my god. So the frenzy is has cast one and KO'd one. Just randomly. Oh. And yeah. That's um Is he gonna 2D the ball here? 
No. Maybe. No. I thought he might have just gone for the Skink Swarm here, right? Because uh, he's down two players. Like, he's down two Saurus for this drive. So he could have punched this guy and powered him. Got another Skink round the back and then blitzed in. Blitzed in for uh, two assist. Skink hit and then you've got all Skinks around the ball. There's probably a decent shot to go for it just then, honestly. Because, like, he's in desperation. So... He's very much in the desperation phase right now. Wow, four plus stand. Outrageous. Glitzer's only gets the push. Gets a big power. That's <laughs> another Kaz. <laughs> so there you go. I mean, he's, he did apple the first Kaz there. Um, knocks over. Down three Saurus, which is basically the drive done. Oh, this is uh, terrible though, blocking with that frenzy. That's, uh, that's not what I would have done. So, I mean, we've got to just try and get uh, the 2D on the ball here, I guess. Yep. Gets the pal. That was a really bad frenzy hit, wasn't it? Like, the push direction was just awful. I guess he was thinking of, like, trying to set up some surf or something, but really, really, you shouldn't uh, be doing that. <laughs> when uh, <laughs> the downside <laughs> is this. Ooh, he's geofying. Don't really know why. Get rid of, get away from him maybe. Yeah, I mean that was that was a real bad push direction, wasn't it? <laughs> so he pays for it by getting cast. Which, you know for a defensive touchdown I guess you take that. Oh my god. <laughs> He's had three cast Saurus in five turns. That is insane. On Frenzy gets the second hit. And I guess the GFI, I don't know if he did two GFIs. I guess the GFIs stopped him recovering. Honestly, Armour 7 Saurus are not good. Not a good team. <laughs> the Saurus are stunty for the game. It's pretty ridiculous. But he gets the pickup. <laughs> he gets the pickup and he scores. Quite like the foul. I don't know, it's a 5 plus pickup. And I know it's 55% with a reroll. He's got he's got dodge for the Dodgers. You really don't want to foul with like I think that was his guarder, wasn't it? You really don't want to lose a guarder in this matchup. And like you've won the game already. <laughs> you've literally already won the game. Oh man, if he'd set up. That was a blitz. If he'd set up properly, like rather than the defensive Dakar. If he had set up properly, he could have just taken the ball off him again and gone 2-0 up. Oh, wow. I, I can't remember if it was the if it, if it was a guarder, I think you don't if you don't foul. I think if it's not a guarder, he could have thought about fouling. Yeah, he should have called his team Mighty Blowhawks, shouldn't he? Not bloody uh not frenzy orcs. <laughs> oh, I'll help you troll. KO, lovely. Just annihilate his team, casual. Oh, 
<laughs> oh my god. He has lost five Sauras and his apple's gone. So he really lost six Sauras. He's had he's had four Sauras cast and two KO'd. And he's not even trying to stop him. Comedy Mega Dyson. But wait, it's his turn it is turn seven. So he's got to uh, he's got to lob it with Mr. Throw, I guess. Man, if he'd even try to defend this, he could have probably stopped it. Like he's gonna hand it off. But he's not in range, is he? Should have like there's really no excuse for not getting into range when you're playing versus zero players. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, he tried... <laughs> he, tried... <laughs> he tried for a stupid double dodge and cast himself. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. He gets the pow. This was uh, this was bad from Dave, all right. This was actually, this was pretty bad from Dave over here. He just two D'd him. If this is a push, he's got to push him here or here. You have to bring in this guy and this guy. So if you push, you push him to there, and you get to hit with the other one. That was actually really bad from Dave, -O. like really bad, right? If you push here, how do you score? Like, it's it's a 3 plus? Yeah, it's a 3 plus. Okay, it's not that bad. But still, <laughs> still, it's much better. It's much better bringing these two in and then push and then two dice blocking for a push, right? It's, it's still way better. So it's still a bad mistake because it's still making it a 3 instead of a 2 for no reason. No reason at all that it should be. And he re-rolled it. Did he one in nine? It's because I saw him re-roll it, honestly. It made me think it was worse than it was. And there you go, he double ones. And that's why you don't want to make it a handoff either. So there you go. Um, <laughs> so. <laughs> probably should have had that guy in range, honestly. Like, with with this. Like, three turns to score versus no defense. Even with the three guys on the LOS that you cast. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that uh, Noxa made no defensive attempt until until the last second, he probably should have got the players up so he was able to uh, walk it in there. But now he's kicking. Now he's kicking, Devo. So like, amazingly, Noxa has a chance, right? Amazingly, he has a chance. He's got three, six, seven players. Seven players. So if he can crack, crack down the side, like one day him down the sideline probably. What's the best? What's the best play here? Three skinks on the LOS. Crocs in there, blitz him, go up, and then go. No, you want nil up. You want nil up with with seven players. So if he's, if he was a. Uh, if it was nil nil, then like try and dack it with seven. And it's really hard, right? He's, he's got the frenzy as well. It is actually really hard, really hard to dack it. Like because three play, three players are totally immo immo immobile. So I think three skinks on the LOS, or maybe it's one one Saurus on these three. One Saurus on these three. One skink here. One skink here. One skink here. Um, Crocs here. Saurus here. Crocs goes in there. Saurus blitzes. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
And then, uh... But yeah, I was going to say, even trying a two-turn is hard, right? Because you've got no players. You've got no players. It's really hard. What work out the best way to two-turn even is. And then... A skink and maybe he's trying to double dodge through. Like, it's actually, it's actually really pretty hard to do. He's got so few players. Wait, why did he, did he not do his on the ball? Oh god, he is daiquiring. I'm not sure this is correct. Well, in fact, I'm sure it's not correct. Oh, he's just caging deep in his own half on a movement seven guy. No, he should not pick it up. If he if he gets to catch it, or if he's doing a two turn, then you want it on him, right? Because because then you can use his on the ball to make himself faster, right? If he's trying a two turn, let's say he's here and the ball's here, his on the ball goes three squares, and now all of a sudden he is kind of faster than he would have been if he was movement eight. But after the first turn, you want it on a skink because they're movement eight and he's movement seven and he's terrible. So he should not have tried to pick up then. Definitely not. But I mean, this is really hard, isn't it? It's so hard. It's so hard. But I mean, this is a pretty big commitment from Devo. Yeah, so he gets the he gets the power there, and now the Crocs can blitz, and he can just run everyone through. This was shit from Devil. <laughs> what the hell? Wait, oh, he, and he dub scold, so he blitzed the wrong guy, and he dub scold, which wasn't great. I think he blitzed. Uh, blitz, he blitzed this line, or didn't he? If he blitzed him, and he got the pow, then you've just opened up all of this space, and the whole team could have gone through. What the hell? Wow. Instead he dub scold. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, no, I think you have to blitz this guy, right? You blitz this guy. So that if you power him, you've got no dodges. And then you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Probably a GFI. Maybe even two. And then the other two come up, and then he dodges through. Man, he could have been away then. That was a bit, bit too rowdy from Dave. I think you know he's, you've got to, um, you've got to like keep you know something a bit safe right here. You can't just let the like he's pushed up too, too far too quickly. I think. Like obviously you've got to push up eventually, but like you've got a bit of time. You don't, you know. You, you can go to overtime here and uh, like you're playing for overtime right you're playing for a turn 16 score in overtime there's no need for you to score in four and then score in four again you can just you can just take this you win this by overtime and and the way you lose is if he uh, if he manages to get the ball and run away somehow and that there was there was a chance of a breakaway that time. Now, not so much. <laughs> oh wow, rerolls. I was that a reroll? I think just lie down and wait for overtime is the play. But you're not getting any more players, are you? These are all cast. These are all cast. Oh my god. There's a strong argument for lying down waiting for overtime. Though. Because now overtime is coming. <laughs> Even with a crappy Mr. Throw. Could have surfed this. Could have surfed, couldn't he? Could have punched him to there and then frenzied and then surfed. <laughs> Boring Devo concentrating on the ball. <laughs> he could have... Could have definitely surfed this Saurus. <laughs> I 
Like it was quite reasonable as well. It wasn't even it wasn't even ludicrous. Like obviously dealing with the skinks is way more sensible. Just a hit on the ball, yeah. That was did not care about the five plus at all there. Which was what you've got to do in this situation is not leave a five plus to hit the ball. <laughs> that was pretty bad from Davo. You could have just been back here, right? There was there was absolutely no reason to uh, go there. No reason to leave that two D. <laughs> Another one. I don't think so. I don't think all the games are played. I'm not sure. I'll keep an eye on it. I'll, I'll have a look after this after this game. But I mean, it's it's still really really bad. For this. The lizard men. Hard to even call them lizard men at this stage. They've <laughs> yeah, they've got so few players left. The lack of the lack of tackles really hurting him, isn't it? He can't he can't get any of these skinks down very well. I mean, if Noxer had just laid down after the initial after the dub skulls from the Crocs, he would have saved a reroll or two. And uh, and he'd be in overtime with maybe seven players still, you know. I think he definitely should have laid down. I think he definitely should have laid down because, like, he ain't doing anything. <laughs> he ain't doing anything this half, you know. Once, once that failed, I guess he's burnt one of Davo's rerolls, but still, having no rerolls at all is pretty terrible. Strength four has it, so you can go for a one D. Yeah, yeah. I guess, I guess the thing is, I guess the thing is that that Nox is thinking is, you know, if he can just do random bullshit to try and uh, hang on to the one nil because he is one nil. Maybe he could have died. I don't think he could die at all, but maybe he could have done. He should definitely not have done what he did. You know, he should have either gone for the <laughs> he should have either gone for the two turn or gone for the DAC, or he shouldn't have just stood here and said, Please come and kill me. Like that that was not good. Yeah, if, he, if he'd full DACKered, he'd have taken the orcs like one, two turns to get up to here, probably three turns. And then he could have just like, you know, blitzed with a crocs and uh and three plus through. Yeah, maybe the DACA wasn't a bad idea. Uh, I didn't like it because of the frenzy being the thing really, because like obviously he's got a really good sweeper, but Yeah. I mean it was better than what he did. I I like the two turn being one L up. I really wouldn't have had, it would I wouldn't have been confident in the DACA at all. But I guess the thing is even if you like, you know, it doesn't work. If you, if you get past them on the DACA, then um, then you know it's you, you, it doesn't take you too many turns to be miles away from them, and then and then they probably not counter scoring, and you win one nil. No, he just wants that guy surfed. Don't know why. Must have particular particular. Uh... <laughs> Wait, what? What? Oh, I guess because it's a block. Well, they're, they're both blocks. What? Davor didn't serve the skink. That's crazy. That's crazy. You're crazy. This is super easy, isn't it? The, the frenzy doesn't matter. He can get taken away from this block. He's got the line there to so step in, right? Yeah. 
only one in nine. <laughs> so he's had some he's had some pretty garbage dice. Uh, like block dice this half, but I mean he can't really complain about the dice. <laughs> to not take the surf and then do that greedy block with one reroll and overtime guaranteed is pretty weird, I think. And then Dave wins the toss as well. Right, so you've got seven players. I mean, yeah, you're not going to win on over. You're not going to win it on defense. Yeah, maybe I should have Dackard. Could he have Dackard? Because he hasn't got seven elves, has he? He's got four elves. That's the problem. He'd have had to put all three skinks on the LOS. And, like, have the... Uh... Oh, wow. He's got a blitz. <laughs> He'd have had to put all three skinks on the LOS and then, like, the three strong boys, like, back here or something. Like, literally back as far as they can go, more or less. And then run everything back and stuff. Maybe, maybe he could have had a chance. He couldn't use dodge on the blitz, of course. So, uh, but hey, he's got he's got something. D uh, Devo's team has improved, of course, because uh, his uh, his <laughs> his thrower got got KO'd. <laughs> so his team has actually been improved for all the times. So that's that's good. You can be happy about that. Another Kaz. Yeah, one guy, one dude on the three things, and then the other two free. And Devo should have done a wide LOS as well versus seven players. Probably. It's tough though, because he's got to stop the quick score as well, hasn't he? He's, he's not just thinking that he's going to dack it. The quick score was an option, so may maybe the tight LOS was fine. What a shattered team. <laughs> yeah, it brings him in so he gets the black hole kit afterwards if he wants. Doesn't need it. And this is pretty much over now, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, Gatanix fan is right there. Looking Kaz four Saurus. Four Saurus in the first half. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. It wasn't even four swords, it was five because he used his apple. He cast five swords in the first half. That is without a doubt the dicing of the tournament so far. Like absolutely, absolutely no, uh, no context. No, I keep saying no contest instead of no contest. <laughs> Absolutely no contest dicing of the tournament so far. Gets the power in second. Yeah. It's a lot less reliable, but a lot more powerful. <laughs> Fuck's sake, in <laughs> Well... Devo has allowed another 5 plus 2D on the ball. Who can say if that's bad or terrible? I'm going to lean towards terrible. Noxa doesn't take it, which I'm going to lean towards terrible as well. Hmm. Well, he gets a 1D. On a 1D push into a 2D. Four. Okay, maybe this isn't so bad. Maybe this ain't so bad. The problem is like you've got you've activated everybody, right? The five plus two D. Then you've got Skinks ready to just score. And then 
make it tricky again. But that, that was a nice, that was like, you know, probably in, a, probably in a real game that was better, right? In a real game from Noxa that was better. But I think situationally I think the 5 plus was probably just better because then it gives you skinks to, to react instantly. But uh, that certainly looks better for normal play and looked better and was overall higher chances and everything. Oh wow. <laughs> He failed the pickup. It bounced off the stun Saurus. So if it wasn't even stunned, he would have even had another hit. Well, uh, you know what? That, that's the thing, though, right here, Dev. That's the thing. Um, he let it happen in the first half. When it was still a real game, <laughs> that's why that's why this isn't over. That's why this game isn't two nil. <laughs> he let it happen in the first game when it was nil. In the first half when it was nil nil, he 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 just he just let a uh, he just let a Saurus hit the ball, which is uh, not something you can do really against lizards. <laughs> yep. I yeah, know. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But it, it's something you've always got to think about as well, right? Like, as soon as, like, you know, if you're actually doing well against lizards, you know? If you're actually doing well against lizards, you've got to think, what about Saurus 5 plus dodges? Like, that's that's lizards 101 almost, isn't it? Because, you know, if they, you know, they normally dominate you, but occasionally when they're not dominating you, um, they go for 5 plus Saurus dodges. <laughs> And so you've got to be aware that that's, that's a player they will go for. With a reroll, it's 55%. It's very likely with a reroll, isn't it? I mean, very likely. It's not very likely, but you know what I mean. Like, it's it's worth think. It happens enough that it's worth thinking about when they have a reroll. So, um, yeah, like, if, if you can do anything to stop the 5+, plus, yeah. Yeah. If you can, if you can, if you can stop, you, st you do everything you can reasonably to stop a 5+, plus and... The fact that, like, you know, you're a bit giddy because you've made 10 cars in one game. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. He's made 10 cars in one game. <laughs> um, but, you know, you've still got to remain focused and not let them get that 5+. plus. <laughs> 10 cars in one game. Um. It was, yeah, yeah. Desperate. It wasn't even really doing an achievement, achievement if he'd made the 6 plus. He was trying like a 6 plus, 6 plus, and it wasn't even doing a lot. Well, there you go. That is our first comedy mega dicing of the tournament. Um, commiserations to Noxa there. Didn't, um, didn't get the chance to play Blood Bowl. Yeah, I mean, I've never seen so many Saurus dodges either, but then I've also never seen four, sorry, five Saurus cars in one half at NAF level before. <laughs> you know, different if you've got Clawpom and you, and you cars five Saurus, but to do it with, with one mighty blow on the troll, that's insane. <laughs> that's like insane luck. Yeah. <laughs> This is absolute co He's got the ball. The Crocs has got the ball. <laughs> Double geified with him as well. <laughs> well, that was pretty fun, wasn't it? That was a fun last turn. But, uh, yeah, boy howdy. Boy howdy, what a game. Um, so, congrats to Dave all. <laughs> and big commiserations to Noxa. That was, that was not really a game. Um, thanks for watching everyone, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.